Hello and welcome to another basic tutorial of Affinity Photo. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to add background blur on a portrait or any blur in general anyway, because this is particularly for blur, but I'm using it for a portrait purpose, but you can use it for any other situation you face. Uh, let's get into the tutorial. First of all, you have a layer. You should always have a duplicate of your original and leave it aside. I'm going to uncheck it. Once you're done, you should go to the Gaussian blur. Very famous. You probably have heard of it many, many times in anywhere else, even in Photoshop. And then once you're done, I recommend you to make it independent by dragging it on top of the layer. Make it independent so that you can control that individually. And write background blur I personally f at the beginning I found these kind of way to add blur quite long and where in Lightroom or any other software you probably can use use that blur and um, pretty easy way possible um, but at the same time you have to think in a way that you can actually control it any way you prefer so it give you a vast amount of control on 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 your blur so right now i'm going to add a blur on com on overall photo once you're done you have to go to the gradient tool select i'm going to try to pronounce the name it's called elliptical so elliptical basically round kind of then you drag it as you can see that is adding some kind of uh, um, square half square thing once you're done you make it the middle of the photograph now this is where the things get interesting you have to make sure this one color of the white is black that means that no blur will be added on that particular area and then make the rest black um, white apologies where the blur are going to stay so I'm gonna go there add to the white and make the white black I'm going to change the slider to HSL slider and go all the way black as you can see that in the photograph you don't have the blur almost no blur but you have to fine-tune that but before I go there I have to go to the gray area and then turn it to white by dragging it all the way there so now it's completely white that means that the white area are blurred as you can see that she's blurred but the face it doesn't have blur but I would like to have the book visible a little bit not too much what i can do i can drag the middle part and then all the way closer to the white that's step number one so it makes it a bit more harsh step number two would be dragging it down to the book and pulling it down as much as you can so that the book gets visible as you can see i have the book quite visible but it does have a quite nice and subtle blur around the area very easy very simple that's one way to add blur obviously you can add blur in any other way possible using the same tool the gradient you know what now that we are here I'm going to show you how so in this particular not this one I have another photo somewhere there you go here I want to add a blur at the base right there on the tree I can follow the same tool uh, not there so you can go to the effect Gaussian blur make it separate pretty straightforward rules as I, as I showed you earlier and now you add the blur so you can see that it depends on you want to have a subtle blur you can add a little bit of blur not too much so you have a blur all over the photograph now you can go back to your gradient tool and drag it up like that so what means now your foreground should be blurred and the upper ground should not be again remember change the color to black so you can either go there and then change it to black like that boom done and now you can drag it up or down as you prefer it depends which part mm, how much you want your photograph to be blurred and where you can control it as much as you like so you have 
one way to control and add blur in landscape photograph and i showed you another way to add black gun blur in a portrait photography hope this video was very helpful i'll see you in the next video bye bye